Hi, everyone, and welcome, Eagles Insider Dave Spadaro with cornerback Cravon LeBlanc, a conversation presented by Bob's Discount Furniture as the Eagles get ready for prime time on Sunday night against the Rams. Uh, Cravon, is, is prime time like a big deal to you still at this point in your, in your life? I mean, it's, it's really not. It's a little more focused that's going to, going to it, but for the most part, it's still like a regular game. Did you grow up watching football? Absolutely. All the time? Football, ham- football family. Who was your team? I never had a favorite team. I had favorite players, though. Okay, for example? Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, you know what I'm saying, Ricky Williams. Yeah, I knew like them all. Yeah. yeah. This is, it's so interesting. You know, fans, they see the stars and the, everybody. Your career has been really interesting. Florida Atlantic, not drafted, New England Patriots, injured reserve, Chicago Bears, Detroit Lions, Philadelphia Eagles. Did you feel at some point there like, hey, man, this business is crazy, moving moving around, really not having that kind of stable home. Um, I never, I never, my faith never, never wavered. But what I can say is, uh, I did tell myself at one point that as long as I put my best foot forward and keep going hard, you know what I'm saying, God ain't bring me this far to leave me. So you know, in the end, the cream always rises to the top. Do you feel like you're playing your best football right now? Absolutely. The op- it, it, There's you're... always room for improvement, though. Sure, of course. The, the, the nickel cornerback spot, an inside spot, different skill set, short area quickness. Yeah. Is it a lot different than playing the outside? Because I'm not sure fans really understand the difference between inside and outside. Absolutely. You know, as a nickel back, being like a hybrid or an extra linebacker in the game that can cover slot receivers, but you still got to be in run fits, got to know what gap you in. Um, got to communicate with other linebackers, D-line, man, the safety. On, on the outside, you know, it's either, you know, man, two, three, communicate with the safety, or it's just mono e mono against you and that person that's a- across from you. Cravon, the good times are great in the NFL. Yeah. The other time when you get cut, it, it, is, yeah. it is, I'm sure, heartbreaking. So, yeah. what, what, what have you experienced? What's it been like for you? Um, well, I've been, I've been released twice. Um, How do they tell you? Uh, they they just kind of like ask you ask you are are you around or are you in the building do you have your iPad you know come up and you know see us or whatever and so you know what's you know what's coming yeah you know what's coming at that time and then you talk to a gen, the general manager and things like that and they pretty much tell you like okay we're gonna release you or we're gonna waive you you know you gotta clear waivers um, they'll let you know if you they want you to revert back to practice squad too but you know or they'll let you know like if you not, if they don't want you on the practice squad, so that's that's kind of how that go. And and do you cry? I mean, I mean, some nights, some nights I did, you know, um, you know, that's life, sure, that's emotions, that's into it, you know, um, especially in like, you know, saying where I come from, my circumstances, but I can't harp on those on, on those times. And at that time, like I know, like my mom, my brother, who's incarcerated. Um, um, my father who passed, you know, he's looking down on me and I, I kind of promise him like no matter what the situation is or how things might crumble up or how my cars are dealt to me, I still got to push forward and I still got to go hard and still put my best foot forward. Do you feel a lot of re- responsibility representing your family? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I wear my, that last name, LeBlanc, heavy on my shoulders. Mm-hmm. You're the hope of the, in a sense, for greatness of the family, if you will. Yeah, I, I'll say that. So has that helped you kind of go through the the up, mental ups and downs of playing in the National Football League? Absolutely. I mean, and then, like, when I am down and stuff, you know, my mom called me. She'd give me a call, and, you know, we chop it up. She'd keep me up sometimes when, you know what I'm saying, those rough times kind of really sit in a little longer than it should. But then she kind of, like, just, you know, snapped me back into it and just, you know, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah, no doubt. So, and I, I want to say that this is a, while the team is six and seven and everybody wants to win every game, this is a very positive experience for you to come into Philadelphia, to have a role, and to get on the football field and for an extended period of time really show what you can do. Is that the way you're looking at things? Um, always when I, when I come in for a new team, is always to you know, show what I can do, um, show, show like, to the team, because when you come on a new team, you always got to prove yourself to that team that you're on. Mm-hmm. So for me, first thing coming in, I wanted to show them like I can learn the plays. I can, I can. I'm all about work. I'm always about putting my best foot forward. I'm, I'm for the team. I'm a team player. I'm, I'm resilient. I'm tenacious. I can handle the tasks if you want me inside. I can handle the tasks if you want me outside. Like that's what I do. Like I played 
every position from nickel to corner to safety since I've been in the league. So with, with that being said, like when coach needs me somewhere or needs me to be in a certain position, like I don't get shooken up by it. I just kind of like harp on myself and be like, okay, well, I put a little more focus into this position and start studying this and just kind of learn on the fly. Awesome, man. It, well, you're, where's your brother incarcerated? Um, he's, he's up in, uh, like, I want to say Tallahassee, like it, in the Panhandle. Is there any chance that he can watch on Sunday night? Yeah, he do. He actually we communicate on um, JPay. Yeah, on JPay. I send him a little video grams and like I just try to like keep him out here with me. Do you think about him while you're out there playing? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's sweet. Man. He got he he kind of last game he um he called me like right before, and it was like perfect time. And he was like, "What you? Oh, what I need to give you a motivational speech or whatever <laughs> like that." So you know. Um, it's, it's good hearing his voice before games and things like that. And I know, like, I put a smile on his face, too. So. Craven, you have to have a very thick skin in the NFL, don't you? You have to, to be rejected, to get beat on a play. How did, where does that come from? Where does that strength come from for you? For me, just how I was raised and, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that extra voice and that extra voice in my head is my father. You know, um, he always told me since I've been playing, like, you're going to get beat on some plays. You're going to, you ain't going to win them all. You, you ain't going to win every game, you know. And unfortunately, growing up from, like, Little League, I always been on, like, the team who, like, never went to the Super Bowl or never went to, like, the playoffs and things like that. But he was just like, as long as you go out there and put your all out on the field and, you know what I'm saying, you play within your team and you, you out there having fun with your teammates, that's all that matter at the end of the day. And that is absolutely true. Sunday night, big challenge. Rams are great on offense. They've been scoring 37 points a game. When you watch them on film, what have you seen? Explosive offense. Um, a lot of weapons from the backfield, from quarterback position to receivers, and even on defense, like the whole team, they, they're phenomenal. So um, we definitely got to be on our P's and Q's. Yeah, you have having fun, don't you? Yeah. Win, win lose, or draw, it's you don't – I mean, you've been an experience. You have you have to cherish every moment in the NFL, do you not? You got you. Yeah, you have to cherish every moment, and you want to cherish every moment. Every moment, but on the same tip too, like with with us knowing, like you know, our back against us on the wall. Like we want to win. We want to go out there and win. That's our mindset every week. Yeah, to go one to know every week. That's right. And a win on Sunday night would be huge. Get this team ready for the final two Facts. games and a stretch run. Let's get to the playoffs. Facts. Facts. All right, Cravon LeBlanc, conversation presented yeah. by Bob's Discount Furniture. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck on Sunday Appreciate night. Appreciate it.